Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another Wildstar video. This time we're going to be talking about World PvP, specifically World PvP at level 50 and the lack thereof. I'm going to be talking about a little bit what Carbine is doing to discourage World PvP, uh, what they can be doing to encourage World PvP, and kind of my thoughts as to what the culprits are for the lack of World PvP. So for those of you that don't know my channel, <laughs> subscribe, um, I love PvP, I love everything about PvP, World PvP specifically I love because it's to me unadulterated fun and I know PvPers get a kind of a bad rep because of certain bad apples, bad apples that gank lobbies, gank people that they've already beaten like you know for the hundredth time but for me as long as the level range is fair I enjoy the PvP. So what bothers me at 50 is a severe lack of PvP and there's a couple things that contribute to it that I'll get into it but the first thing I want to talk about that the, the issue with PvP is why as a 50 do I have to go out into the world and that's kind of a big big issue for me it is even though this zone is quite low, this is a level 50 zone, this is Northern Waste, if I'm not mistaken, yep, Northern Waste. Um, even though this is a nice level 50 zone, there's really no reason for me to be out here. Yeah, the quests are nice, but as a PvP here, you know, these quests aren't really giving me any, any reason to be out here. Um, there's nothing to do, so why would I as a PvP? Here, even if I was a PvE, there's these quests doesn't these quests in the zone doesn't really give me any benefits. Not like I'm leveling, right? The reason that you're out in White Whale is you're leveling. This is where you go level. But at 50, why do I do these things? There's no reason. Why do you want to encourage people to go out into the world? Well, there's been a study by a guy named Richard Bartle. When I, what he found was that MMO players can be kind of categorized into four categories killers achievers explorers and socializers and you kind of need the equilibrium of these players for your mmo to be successful extra credits actually did a great video about this in a little bit more in depth that i'll link in the end of the video and you kind of get an understanding of what each of these uh each of these roles each of these types of players how they interact with each other but it, to summarize essentially Killers are motivated by achievers and a little bit by explorers. Whereas, you know, as more and more people that are achievers and explorers go out into the world, they will attract killers that will try to kill them, and in turn, who will attract other killers who are trying to kill the killers. And you now have a perfect equilibrium of this feedback loop that are attracting more and more players. So, we need to kind of achieve this kind of equilibrium in Wildstar to, for it to be successful. And how do we do that? Why? Right now, there's really no reason. Um, in Wildstar, we really need to have a way to kind of entice achievers and explorers to go out into the world and actually do stuff. So one of the quickest ways that I think that play interaction in the 50 zones can occur is by improving crafting. So what do I mean by that is right now crafting in Wildstar is near useless. You can pretty much get geared out in, uh, in other ways. I don't think I've seen a single person use crafted gear. Uh, there's really no need for it. All those lines that you see on the screen, those blue, yellow, and gold lines, those are actually lines for crafting nodes by the perspective add-on. And pretty much, I've yet to see at 50 anybody use these crafting nodes. And to me, I think the simplest way to uh, get more people into the zones is if you actually make crafting relevant, people will go out to these zones to gather and to craft, to get the gathering materials, etc. So I think like, they should introduce like a level 50 plus crafting uh, nodes. Um, Right now, I think the most one's 45, I believe. So if you include a 50 plus one, that, that will make it so that people come out. And the other thing, I know when the game first started, there was a lot of people out here uh, farming for the amp drops. Uh, I don't want to go back to that system where you got to farm for your amps. I think that was a terrible system, but it did have a uh, effect of having people come out here and actually farm. So it kind of a new drop of sorts. I, I don't know if it's new mounts, new 
costume pieces, new something, something that you had to come out here and grind for that will give, you know, those achievement type people a chance to go out there and kind of get this achievement. Like, oh, look, I got this drop. So I think that will kind of cascade and have this snowball effect of drawing people into the into the new 50 zone and kind of improving level 50 pvp so that's just my uh you know my suggestions let me know what you guys think will kind of help, help improve level 50 kind of pvp or rather if you think even it should be improved maybe you you believe that you know 50 world pvp should be kind of done away with uh, you know that we should be kind of relegated to just bgs arenas and war plots so let me know what you guys think uh, leave it in the comment section if you like the video please like and subscribe and until next time uh this is college pvp i'll actually be up uploading a new build video soon gotta get around to it so uh yeah see ya